Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well Virgo Rising uh, weekly tarot reading, July 29th to August 4th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we're gonna get right into it. Alright, so the first card which starts, oh, which stands for the topic of your uh, week, Virgo, this is going to be the Eight of Cups, followed by the next one which uh, refers to the challenges that you need to overcome and that is going to be the eight, the Ten of Swords and now we know that it's all about letting go of, alright, letting go of a thing that, you know, it will require a lot of a uh, determination and a, uh, a lot of... Um, Iron will, I would say, you know, to do so. Uh, the next card here, which is the positive topic of the week, that is going to be, or the positive aspect, excuse me, of the week, this is going to be the Three of Cups. And the final card uh, is going to be the uh, guidance that you need to overcome, and this will be the Queen of Cups. So uh, it's a bit of a, a, a rough week, I'm going to lie. It's, it, it looks like that you are going to... Um, undergo ordeal of an, an emotional healing and patching and, and it's like restoring yourself not necessarily from a past relationship you know you could be uh, deeply for example insulted by a friend of yours and you need to let go of so you can heal yourself or from a situation in general you know or it's simply you have you may be mistreated at your career you know that you need to let go of and, and these kind of stuff and it's going to be a, a difficult thing for you because uh, for one or another reason, you already invested, you know, time, efforts, maybe money as well. Who knows, right? But the thing is that this week, um, I would say that one door closes, another door is open. Uh, it's simply how it works. But before we scrutinize the reading, guys, let's go uh, through the cards one by one. So the first one it is the Eight of Cups. Followed by the next one, which uh, this is the topic here, and then we do have the uh, challenges, which is the Ten of Swords. Afterwards is going to be the uh, positive aspect, that is to be the Three of Cups. And the final one here, it's the Queen of Cups, which stands for the uh, Guidance. All right, so Eight of Cups, which represents the general topic, it simply puts it, it is where one, it's moving on, all right? It's, it's like letting go of especially as the Ten of uh, Swords is a follow-up of a uh, situation that it is, if not beyond repair, it does uh, requires a lot of emotional cost, way too big emotional cost one to pay, so to push it to its, its end or to reach the very end of it. And therefore, the Eight of uh, Cups here points that throughout the week, it is likely that you're going to realize that you're 
you can be happy elsewhere, all right? You don't have to necessarily be happy at that job, at this person, with this social circle, you know, or having that situation at your side. You know, it's, it's like adopting a... Um, a standpoint of humbleness, of resignation, uh, recognizing, you know, that if something isn't happening, it's, it's, it's not the end of the world, but uh, letting go of it, you know, and allowing yourself to substitute it with a different perspective, with a different approach, could pay off a even a greater benefit. It's like um, in our country, in my country of Bulgaria, we do have that expression. I don't know if it's going to sound very well in English, but we say if it requires force, it's, it's not going to work out. Or now that I think of it was once told to me, if you push it, it's likely to be a shit. Okay, so... Uh, this is what the card represents, that throughout this week, if you have to push something, it's likely going to become a shit. So that's why you need to start considering em uh, embarking on a new perspectives and on new roads. Not, it's not going to be easy though, right? I mean, easy emotionally to detach and to, to, to burn that bridge, but it's still a necessity. The accompanied card here is going to be the five of... Um, the five of wands, so formation, it is a active, uh, passive new, passive enemies once again. Uh, and uh, now we know why, uh, another reason why it's not going to be easy, because the other side or the situation itself is going to be an uh, indefinite. So you will have to be the one who, who needs to say stop, okay? So most trivial example here, it is of a uh, dysfunctional relationship, okay? And... Um, while the other person never said that they are going to break up with you, that they are going to file for a divorce, that they don't love you, and so on and so forth, the whole situation, the very situation, all right, the very, the very core of the matter and the whole attitude of the other person screams the way around. So what I mean is he screams that they don't care. Okay? And while you may keep your hopes high that that may change, according to these cards, it's ain't going to, okay? So that's why you need to be the one to find the strength within to be the one who basically puts the stop sign there and say, I cannot do this any longer, okay? And uh, there is no point forcing it. There is no point pushing it. But instead, you know, I will go where I have been wanted, where people were willing to give me something where I, I, I actually can thrive. So that leads us to the next card, which is the challenge. And I pretty much uh, had a good grasp on it here with the previous card. We do have the Ten of Swords. So Ten of Swords points to those, in this case, irrevocable uh, actions uh, or decisions, you know, and irreversible actions, excuse me, that there is no going back from. And that is the whole challenge here, you know. Uh, it's kind of like pushing this threshold or... or, or traversing this threshold knowing that once you say it's we are done for example if we are following this functional relationship you cannot be with this person any longer and, and and i do understand all right it is quite a lot one to do okay um or let's say that um you do it's a very grim example okay and i hope that this isn't the case with neither of you guys but let's say that your family is really, really smothering you beneath the toe and you hope that that is going to change, okay? But it doesn't look like it. And you have to be the one who says it has to stop. So you move out, you find yourself a home, and that's it. Your relationship with your family will never be the same again. I'm not saying that you will not going to have any relationship with them but definitely it's not going to be as most families are here with, uh, with this card. But the thing with the Ten of Swords is that you need to realize that you have to um, move through this um, period of self-realization, or I don't know how to say it, so you can force a new era in your life. And, uh, you know, the 
the things that you got to do here, or rather like this irrevocable decisions and, and then irreversible actions are from necessity. And even though it is scary at that point to do them, knowing that you are going to lose something, you have to ask yourself, is it really worth keeping it? Okay. And yeah, we definitely have a very difficult transition here with the Six of Swords. Uh, for the reason being is that uh, you may feel that you cannot live with it, all right? If we're following the, um, the formation here, by the way, is active supporters. So if we're following the example of the dysfunctional relationship, you know, you may love this person so much or get attached to them. Not even, it doesn't have to be even with love, you know, you may be attached to them so much because, for example, you don't have a job, they bring the whole money in it, you're right, you don't have a home, so you live in their place and etc. etc. that you may think that as soon as you detach, the whole life is going to collapse and that's not going to be the case um, just on the contrary you are starting a new chapter in your life it is just what these cards are pointing it's just it takes from you the courage you know to do what is best for you so that leads us to the third card here, which stands for the uh, positive aspect. And we do have the Three of Cups. Needless to say that the Three of Cups points that everybody who is a friend of yours, a true friend of yours, is going to have your back. Even better than that, these people are going to share as well your vision. They will be willing to lend you a hand. They will be willing to listen to you to, to so, so you can uh, simply unfold, you know, what, what, what's going within you, what's going inside. That being said, of, of course, you're going to lighten, uh, lighter your, your emotional burden that you're keeping on moving forward. And uh, that is, that is uh, this... Um, the next thing that I'm going to say is very conditional. It's conditional because first you need to undergo the ordeal of transition here. But once you finish the, in, and finalize the process of transition, of detaching yourself, um, then uh, your next steps are going to breed great, great results. So if you have to detach from someone that you are living in and you don't have an apartment, all right, or you don't have a place, you are going to find a place almost immediately, either because you're going to rent one or because so, some of your friends are going to help you, you know, and, and will allow you to stay at their place until you find one and so on and so forth. The point here, guys, is that you're going to find out that you're not alone in this. As a matter of fact, that there are so many kind people who are willing to go through this ordeal with you being emotional and if you want to say physical support as well the accompanied card here it is the tree of pentacles and i touched the physical support a little bit premature here but the tree of pentacles and the double trees are definitely talking about that you're going to have an, an enormous enormous support from your friends it's generally from those people who are sincerely uh, are, are are holding on to you, all right, and that are believing in you. And there are such people with these cards. Uh, and even on top, uh, they could be a little bit more harsh, you know, and a little bit more rough uh, with the sentence, for example, I told you so, girl, you know, you had to leave him long time ago. Look at yourself now, what situation you put yourself into, you know, but don't worry, we're going to help you. We're going to figure this one out. So let's let's go for a cup of tea or for a cup of coffee just to get our, our minds clear and let's think what the next move is going to be, you know. I mean, there is going to be a portion of criticism, but not with with the intention to make you feel bad or anything, but to, to make you learn your lesson and the next perspective, which we're seeing here in the reading, that is going to come around after, you know, to be a, a perspective which you're going to have better benefits from instead of being a, uh, a a slave to okay and the final card here uh, which we do have it is the queen of uh, cups and this is the guidance that you need to uh, that you should follow throughout the week so the queen of cups tells us a few things uh, the first one is that you need to follow the uh, feelings of your heart not your emotions all right the emotions and feelings uh, to me, these are two different things, all right? So feeling stressed, feeling oppressed, feeling uh, smothered, feeling that you are stifled, okay? If we're following dysfunctional relationship, you may love that person, but if you are feeling threatened, 
in there, then obviously you gotta follow that feeling and, and move move away. It is all that the Queen of Cups it's it's pointing into. All right. So emotions and feelings are not the same thing. That's first. Second of all, you need to allow yourself to give your you need to give yourself a time. All right. Results after you detach are not gonna come on uh, over one night. All right. So take your time to. Um, like I said, clear your head, to clear your mind, and to uh, define the best move that can happen after. I mean, uh, as this card comes around here as a guidance, it means that the time is not an issue. As uh, after, you know, you undergo the ordeal of letting go of and of transitioning yourself into a new chapter in your life. The accompanied card here is going to be the uh, chariot, so the formation it is the passive supporters. And with the chariot, it's just only one thing that uh, these two cards are pointing here, is that with enough patience, you know, and should you uh, place yourself in front of everything else, meaning following the feelings, not the emotions, the feelings of your heart, um, there, is, there are no odds that can beat you. Uh, even more, you know, you're going to establish such a solid foundation here of what you want for yourself, for your career, for your relationship, you know, and in general, how you see yourself in life, that it is very likely you're going to be swiped off that path moving forward into the future. So that being said, uh, Virgo, this was your weekly tarot reading, August 29th to a um, July 29th to August 4th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.